Hey, if you love the idea for adding bookmarks to your favorite websites, but you just struggled using sort of this, uh, you know, using the browser and then you get this big list. Ah, I didn't, for me, that's what it was. Anyway, AppSumo has this cool deal, lifetime deal uh, for super dense, and it might be a solution for your bookmarking issues. Someone like me, I think this might work, all right? Cool, all right, let's do it. So when you go to the website, it's right here, bookmarks for minimalist and web junkies. Not the web junkie, but the something about the minimalist, that, that I really liked. And when I saw sort of the screenshot of this, of just seeing, you know, it sort of looks like I can create a category, and then I can just have these quick links to something. And so me as a web designer or freelancer, and you're providing services, a lot of times what we do is we want to collect information about, you know, tutorials, how to do this, how to do that, or web design inspiration, uh, you know, where are our top sites that we look, to, look for, any types of shortcuts and stuff. So that's like, for me, thinking of bookmarks, I thought, oh, I would do that. But when, I don't know, for, for me, it just didn't work like this. Like here I had my competitors uh, with Webflow tutorials uh, because I design websites in Webflow. I thought I would just, you know, put a, bu a bunch of tools or, or resources here and I would go back to them, but I don't. Something, so something visual about this had me kind of curious and I thought, you know what, let me just, let me just grab it and see. So what I'll do is I'll just log in now and just show you what it's like. So I've already gone through the create an account process and so they'll just ask you to create a name for yourself and so I just chose my company, Webadoo. And, and, and here you can see the URL. And essentially what you're provided with is, or, or you're presented with, is just a list of a few categories and you can play with them immediately and, and just start adding. So what I ended up doing was just changing a few and I'll show you how simple it is to add something. All right, so here I have a category called design. And so for me, this would be a place where I'd love to add bookmarks to places I can get some design inspiration for websites. So one of the places that I check out normally is awards. And what I'll do is I'll just copy that and I just click this little plus sign and there's a little URL that presents I just, or asking for your URL and I just press enter and boom, there it is. So, and what I can do is if I can just click on it, what it does is it it opens up a new window uh, with the website. And that's it. <laughs> that's literally it. But it's kind of empowering at the same time because if you think about it, all a lot of the, let's say the top sites that I would have in my mind, maybe it's like 20 sites or something, I have a chance to put them all here that's related to stuff that I'm interested in. You know, design inspiration, uh, tutorials on how to add certain code blocks to a website. Uh, just all these things. Well, Webflow clones. Uh, so that's a, that's a thing within uh, Webflow, a tool that I use. So that's pretty cool because I can create a dedicated page to myself or my team, uh, say teammates, if I need to give them some information. Everything can be here and it can be accessible to them. And I can go even further and I can say, you know what, I want to create a dedicated page around a particular topic and just uh, and that might be useful for someone else. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, so here, this is my page, but you actually can create lots of pages or they call them spaces. So I'll just create a new one now. So let's call this one the, the, the app sumo page. All right, and here, what it is, is this is just an empty page and you can see how the URL updates. So it says it takes my username and then it just adds another page. And so let's just create a category right now. So let's say uh, deals and I'll just go ahead and just add this one. And I will just click there, boom, doom. There it is, I'm taco, you know, anyway. <laughs> so, and then when I click to that, you can see that I'm presented with the AppSumo page. Now what's cool about this, let me go back to my thing, my page just because I have more icons. I wanna walk you through some of the options here because this is where things might get interesting, how you can use it not only for yourself, but you could use it for your team or for, uh, let's say, clients of yours. So what you can do is you have the option to create, to make it public or, or private. So if it's, if it's private, that means that only I can see this page. And if I go to the link, uh, you'll see how it just says this page is not public. So what I can do is I can go back to this page and just put it on public. And then when I do that, now it's public. And you might say, whoa, 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 some things aren't showing here. They just, some of the, some of the categories are disappearing. Well, you have control over that. So I'll just show you how to do that is 
here on the bottom right, there's an edit. And you see here, there's these there's these green icons with the look like an eye. That means that they're visible, and I can change them. I can change the position of them. And then here, I'm just saying I want these hidden. And if I don't, if I if I want to show them to everyone, I can also just make it like that. So what's cool about this is that you know you can um, on a same page you could kind of say I want to see everything because I'm let's say I'm the owner of this of this uh, page. And, but I only want the public to see a few categories. So you have a little bit of flexibility there, so that's pretty cool. And in terms of if, if you want to add a lot of content, you can see here you can even add more co columns and just add stuff. So you can, you're not just limited to one column, you actually have the option of creating multiple ones. And this might be interesting if, you know, if, you're, inter if you're into the Kanban uh, sort of layout of stuff that, that's popping up in a lot of places or Trello boards. Uh, this might be familiar and, and, a, and a flow that might work for you. All right, so I'll just get out of here. I'll just cancel it. And then the final thing, I just walk you through a couple of the options that they have because uh, it might be helpful for you. So here you have the option of this is dark mode. You can change it to light mode. Uh, you, let's go to settings. And what looks pretty cool here, you can change your username. Uh, you have the option of of inviting team members. Uh, so on the lifetime deal, you can already invite up to 10 people. So that's pretty cool. You can add your own uh, branding and stuff. So uh, here, I think you can take the logos, you can you can change the favicon and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that you're able to do. And, and another thing here on the design, you can even change the background. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's say unsplash, uh, let's get this image, we'll save it, and then here. You can get it to look like this. You even have the option of adding some CSS styles, so that might be helpful for some. And let's go ahead and update this, and let's get out of here. So I'll just go back, and then boom. That looks actually, that's pretty cool. So, but I still like the black, I, I still like the dark mode more. All right, so with that, I mean, that's kind of what the tool is, at least for me, after playing with it for a few minutes. But where I see the potential in this is that you know, as a freelancer, there's a lot of things that we'll kind of look at, you know, uh, so there's sort of these categories of, you know, I need help with, uh, let's say, design tips, uh, for me, copywriting, SEO tips, also with the web development, uh, when it comes to code blocks. And I just need something, I don't need something so visual, I just need something to help me give like, you know, easy access to something. And so I could imagine that over time, I'll be adding a little bit here. And I might use the same website, and there might be different pages. Uh, but what I could, what I think will happen is that I can, I'll be able to see with the, uh, with the little pop up of the URL right there. I'll be able to see the, the little difference and know, okay, what what leads to what or something. And so with that, I mean that's kind of that's kind of what I know of Super Dense so far. I've only had a chance to play with it for a little bit, but I do think it is pretty helpful in that. Uh, just being able to capture a lot of stuff all in a simple screen like this is really cool. I do like the idea that I can also make this public and visible to other people. So I, when I collaborate on some projects, it might be nice to just say like, Here, here's the various resources that I use and just have that kind of available for everyone. Uh, particularly if, you know, like places to download free uh, photos or, or, or audio, something like this. So I could see that this could be really helpful just to kind of pass information around people. But really for myself, just maybe this might be a bookmark solution that might work for me. So with that said, I just wanted to mention that, you know, AppSumo is running a lifetime deal where you can try out the product for a couple months and see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, then you get your money back. And I think it's a pretty sweet thing to just uh, give it a shot. And if you're like me, it might be the bookmark solution that you're looking for. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, insightful. Let me know if you have any questions and I wish you a wonderful day.